Hi guys and welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. In a previous review, I showed you a tutorial to obtain a clean system, a clean lollipop system. I was telling you about making a backup and doing a clean system. Uh, after you did this, uh, you see some improvements, but this is not enough uh, to obtain a good quality system with, uh, the, with using the format function. The application are not crashing anymore. Uh, the Wi-Fi is not crashing doing this, but this is not enough. So I'm converting. I will show you how to convert back to the KitKat. I uh, have some problems with um, the S Health with the synchronizing of the data that I cannot overlook this problem. So I'm converting back to the KitKat. A problem, a huge problem is that Gears is not synchronizing with the Note 3 S half. So uh, I did a bit of running on on a 27 ap April and here on the phone it does not show me but it show me to the 13 of April. So this is a problem, it's a huge problem and I'm gonna get rid of this problem by uh, converting back to the old Android. So even if I synchronize the phone with the watch by touching here or directly in the gear manager, let's see, in the gear manager, okay, here. transfer now, transferring data. It's not transferring the data. And this is a huge disappointment for me. Um, I don't know if the gear manager does this or the lollipop uh, Android does this. Uh, evenly the situation, I will I will convert uh, to downgrade to KitKat if if you call this a downgrade because the KitKat worked better. Uh, I see the lollipop, the 5.0 lollipop to be precise. It's a rubbish because the internet browser is crashing, is still crashing. Um, the same problem was in the KitKat, it still crashed, but it didn't crash as much as this uh, browser crashes. Some users will say Android system web view in HTML5 will uh, do the trick. Some will say do not upgrade because it will crash more frequently. So I did uh, uninstall it, it crashed. I installed it to the last version, it crashed too also. So the last alternative is to downgrade or or to upgrade to KitKat. If you are satisfied with the performances of the KitKat, I recommend to leave it to KitKat Android. Another inconvenience that I saw, I was trying, yeah, let's see. I was trying to upgrade the S Health. I saw a new version which requires Lollipop 5.0. So I have Lollipop 5.0, but it it tells me your device is not compatible with this version. So I don't know what is the problem. Or is another bug or Samsung wants to make S Health uh, the last versions of S Health only to the Galaxy S6. So anyway, I backed up everything. I backed up the messages, the contacts, the phone. Please do your backup. I backed, I backed up even uh, S Action Memo and S Note and take your USB card outside the phone while you do this operation. Save all, all your data now go go in a web web browser on your pc text samsung mobile sammobile.com and here you will find your firmware here is where i find it and lte okay here is where i find uh, my my uh, KitKat Android, download the version, the last version 
for Note 3 is 4.4.2. Download it and you will need the Odin software for this operation to write on your phone. It's very easy. I'm sure I'm gonna show you how you do how you gonna do this. Uh, you have to make your account, make an account, register on the website and you will get a regular download. In approximately an hour the download will, uh, will be done and you can install with Odin software in your phone. Don't forget about the backup, it's very important. So, here is the Odin free, I have the version 3.07, um, let me zoom in a little bit, so you can see better, you have in the PDA, in the PDA, here is my file, Android 4.4.2. Checking, please wait. Now that the phone is off, hold the volume down key, the middle key and the power key. It says warning, a custom operation system can cause critical problems. Okay, you, you click the volume up, continue and now plug in the USB. At the COM port it finds the device. So now it's ready to uh, install the new Android system. So I'm gonna click it start. Now it's transferring the new Android system, or in our case, is the old Android system, but the more efficient Android system. So it shows me that the installation is complete. Now is the phase two in the phone. So, if you see in a half an hour that the system doesn't boot up, you have to uh, wipe your uh, data factory reset. Wipe catch partition and wipe, I don't know if you can see, yeah, wipe, yeah, wipe data factory reset. You can do this. You can hold the power key, the phone will restart and immediately after you, after you push the power key, push the volume up and the center 